Joe uh, Byung Ho mentioned that it was an honor to meet you earlier, and that you were someone he was looking forward to. What was was your conversation like with him today? Oh, it was great. You know, I wanted to get here a little early to to have a you know a few moments just to chat with him, and um, yeah, it was it was good. I was excited to meet him as well, and uh, I look forward to uh, to seeing him just in our clubhouse with the guys. I think uh, our guys are really going to like him a lot. How was your Korean? Not very good, Not good. but uh, I was telling him. Uh, what I did with Nishioka a couple years ago, I had a Google Translate, and uh, that kind of helped a little bit. But um, you know, he was telling me he's going to work really hard on his English, and I told him I'm going to work hard on my Korean. So I think it'll uh, it'll be good. That's only fair. Yeah. In your experience with having a player who is not English speaking, which we have several Latin players on the team, and in Nishioka, as you mentioned, what is the experience like of him acclimating? to you guys, to the American food and culture and people and all of the things that are involved in that? Well, uh, number one, this game's hard enough, um, if you can speak the language, but, um, you know, there's, uh, there's a language barrier, the communication. Um, I remember uh, just spring training, uh, sometimes uh, some of our staff were getting a little frustrated just as far as, you know, maybe taking a little extra time to, uh, to relay the message that they want to get across. But, um, you know, I think with going through uh, the Nishioka experiment with uh, you know Japanese. I think we're better prepared on our side to to help this transition make it, make it as easy as possible. But um, you know that's one of the things I wanted to to reassure him today. Just coming here to tell him if there's anything that I can do to help that process along. I'm here and um, you know I'm excited. I'll give you one tip. He said he loves big steak. So if you can hook him up with some steak. I know a few places around here. Yeah, that's for sure. (laughs) When you think about the vision of what this lineup could potentially (laughs) be, what are you thinking about the possibility of the pop and the power that we haven't seen really consistency in the lineup for quite a while? How exciting is that prospect? Well, it is exciting. I think uh, one being right-handed is going to help out a lot here. Um, You know, and uh, to hit 50 home runs in any league is, is very impressive. So, um, I think uh, I think it'll be great. You know, I think this park will be good for him um, to put a bat like that, a power bat in the lineup, and you know, hoping it translates a good thing. But um, you know, and I was I was trying to reassure him uh, today that you know everybody struggles at times in this uh, in this league. So I hope uh, you know he he seems very mature and very, uh, very had good a good head on his shoulder. So I think he'll do well. But um, you know, come right out of the gate and and say he's gonna you know hit 50 home runs uh, let's just uh, see how it goes and um, you know I think he'll do he'll be very productive we'll tap the brakes a bit we'll be patient with it but at the same time we're we're all looking forward to it we're excited about the prospect for next season thanks a lot for your time Joe yeah, no worries